Kemi Talks News. I'm Dr. Kemi Lawrence. It's Sunday, October 20th, 2024. Let's talk about coming back to journalism today. I return to journalism full time. I will be doing opinion news and investigative news. In other words, practicing opinion journalism and investigative journalism. Those are just two beats. I'm not coming back as a general news reporter. I work for myself, I'm independent, and I started on February 9th, 1994. I ended on February 9th, 2024. Something I announced in 2021, and I hashtagged it Media Kemi 30. We counted down, and I ended. However, there was a case that kept me open on this job called journalism. So many of you felt that I'm retired, but not tired. It wasn't so. My health is very poor right now but I have to continue working. I have to support my autistic child and I have to work. It's very hard when you have no funding, very hard when you have nobody backing you because they don't like your stories. And my stories are nothing but truth. For all of you that have backed me, donated something one way or the other, one time and the other, I wanna thank you for believing in me. At the end of the day, a case kept me hostage that I couldn't fully retire since February. And that's a Mobad case. They had an autopsy and a toxicology test coming. And when it came, I wrote about it. I did videos. I analyzed it. I worked hard on the Mobad case, and I spent a lot of my money, very close to $10,000. All that money came from all the income from my monetization on my platform that I should have been enjoying. But I did put it out for this investigation. I solved the case on November 30th, 2023, after two months of investigation from September 15th, 2023. And then when I reopened the case, based on the autopsy and toxicology test, I did a roundup and I found out the same information. New things came out. Some of the stuff I said before in November came out. The fight at the railings, everything. But still, Nigerian police has refused to even give this case any kind of light. I have tried my best to get Mobad story in the international media, I went to everybody in the international media and nobody wanted to do the story. And you know why? Because when the international media like Fox News, CNN, any of them, music magazines have to do this story, they have to reference it to police, a police spokesman. And the police hasn't solved it and they wouldn't talk about it. So you see where it happens that the media cannot even move forward because of people using power to use you to hold you hostage in a story. That's what they call journalism hostage taken. However, in this new light, Kemi Talks News, I have opened new platforms. I just arrived in Monrovia. Monrovia is the capital of Liberia. I'm here to interview a former president. And I'm starting an area in my brand called Kemi Talks Icons, where I get to interview icons around the world not just West Africa, not just Africa, around the globe. So if you see me tomorrow interviewing Benjamin Netanyahu, you know what I mean, Kemi Talks icons. And those icons don't have to be leaders. They could be celebrities. They could be famous singers, famous anything. They don't even have to be famous anything. They could just be an iconic person that the world just has to know about. And that's Kemi Talks Icon. So we're in Monrovia. Look at the daylight here. It's 6 o'clock in the morning. It's not even 6 o'clock. This is climate change. Okay. Now, as for my platform on TikTok, I want everybody on my TikTok page, 60,000, you know, on my TikTok page to move to Kemi Talks News TikTok page because that's where you're going to be watching my videos now. All my analysis, my opinions, and my investigations. So it's open and it's at Kemi Talks News. Also, I opened Kemi Talks News on Instagram. And you can join that Kemi Talks News page now for Instagram posts. I'm returning to news on Instagram. My personal Instagram page, which is at Dr. Kemi Lawrence, it will remain my personal page. Now, what I want you to notice is that I didn't open Kemi Talks News as a handle on Facebook, YouTube, or X. My X account becomes 16 years old on Tuesday. Yeah, I opened X in 2008, October 22nd, 16 years old. So I don't want to change anything to, I've already changed it from Kemi Lawyer to Dr. Kemi Lawrence. I don't want to change anything to Kemi Talks News. That's my personal page. I'll be using that page to give you all the news items. Also, the YouTube 
account has also been you know in existence since 2011 so i'm not changing that i already changed it from kemi lawyer to kemi talks to this to that now it's dr kemi lawrence facebook same thing the url for my facebook is now facebook.com slash dr kemi lawrence so you know where to find me dr kemi lawrence on facebook youtube and x formerly known as twitter and on instagram and tiktok at kemi talks news let's go a lot of stories. If you have a news tip, go to the DM and let me know what your news tip is. If you want something investigated, get some funding and I'll investigate it. For now, I don't have any employees at all. I'm working alone and it's going to be tedious because working around the clock is hard. You know, like when Instablog is posting, they start at 6 a.m. Nigerian time, they end at 11 and they don't post anymore. Everybody goes to bed. I'm going to do something similar. Even though I'm in West Africa now, Okay, when I go back to my location, it might be a whole big time difference. So it means keeping your eyes on the news. I will do my best for everybody. Okay, one thing you will notice is that I won't be talking a whole lot in the comments anymore. I'm going to be very busy. If you like, you can abuse me. If you like, you can praise me. I won't be doing a whole lot of replying in comments anymore. I'm just going to be focused on this work because I'm working alone. Working alone, being on the phone a lot with spokesmen, PPROs, different things. It's a lot of issues going on around the world. Another question I was asked was that, is this going to be a Nigerian-based um, news organization? No, it's going to be global, all right? So if I'm giving an opinion about this new lawsuits, all these girls are filing against Diddy just to get a quick payday, okay, I might do an opinion piece about Diddy on that. If I'm doing an opinion about what I think about what's going on in Israel, though I don't report conflict anymore, and I don't report politics, I might go around that border. In other words, if Peter Obi said something in Nigeria, and I need to give my opinion on what Peter Obi said, I will do a video under opinion journalism. So it's investigating and giving opinions, basically. You're going to enjoy this brand. You really are. Now, if you want to support me, you can support me in any way. All my platforms have all the accounts posted, except TikTok, because TikTok doesn't allow account numbers. But you can go to my Instagram, at Kemi Talks News, and all the other platforms. You can donate anything. Okay, I have two crypto accounts. They belong to my son. So if you have Bitcoin or USDT, send it over there. And if you have a First Bank account, it's there. I have the Naira account, I have the Dollar account, and I have the Wema account. I also have PayPal. Okay, paypal.me slash olukemiolunlayo. PayPal.me slash And I also have Zelle. Zelle is Kemi Talks Media at Yahoo.com. Kemi Talks Media at Yahoo.com and Zelle. I don't have Venmo. I don't have Cash App. I prefer to use these ones. So if you want to donate, please help me. Those of you in the diaspora especially, I need your help. Because you know what the Naira is. The Naira is more money when you give me dollar, pounds, and euros. So please, it doesn't take a lot. Somebody sent me $50 last night. And that really amounts to a lot of Naira. So I'm going to need a lot of operation funding. Getting funding is very hard. Journalism foundations will give you 2000 for the whole year. And they'll tell you the story they wanted to use it for. So it's not like free money anywhere. NGOs in Nigeria won't give you any money as a journalist because they're fearful that you write about, about them or against them. When is their turn to do something bad? And that's why I don't like news in Nigeria. Okay. And some people have told other people not to give Kemi any money because she, once you do something bad, she'll be the first to write about you. News is news, guys. Okay, news doesn't have favors. You have to know that. That's one of the ethics of news. News must never have favors. Okay? That politician that offered to give me $100 million in 2021, okay, is still in the presidency, and I refused because I could not do favors. All right? That politician wanted me to change something in a story because I have a large followership and people believe me. I would not lie to give you a story to collect 100 million. Yeah, he was going to give me the money to open my media house, but I had to say no. My integrity, that's what they call integrity. My integrity is very, very high. I cannot do it. I cannot take bribes and I cannot take a favor when I'm begging you for money. Okay, if you want to invest in me, we can't change stories. If A happened, we have to report A. We can't call it B. All right. So if you want to donate, please help me out. All the porters are there. Thank you very much. You're going to really enjoy life with me on Kemi Talks News. You're going to like this brand. Love you all. Dr. Kemi Lawrence, October 20th, 2024.